Oh man, do I have something great to show you today. AI Hacker integrated into Xena. And don't get me wrong, this AI is not just about chit-chatting. It can actually do things for you, like performing reconnaissance or exploiting vulnerabilities. So, let's introduce ourselves to the AI. Hi, I am the operator. Who are you? And its reply is, Hi, I'm Xena, a software AI designed to assist operators like you with Xena platform for cybersecurity. I'm an expert in coding and cybersecurity, and my purpose is to help with automation via pipelines and remote control of computers through agents. I'm here to support you with any task or operations you need, whether it's scanning, task management, or executing commands. How can I assist you today? So, for starters, uh, let's say that uh, when you're engaging with a target, you want to scan for open uh, ports. So, um, can you scan localhost for me in search of open ports related to web services? And the results are in. It replied, I'll help you scan localhost for open ports related to web services using Nmap. I will focus on common web services ports like AT443, AT80, etc. And use appropriate flags for uh, trout scan. So basically here we can see the command that it uh, have executed. Um, in this case, it used XML. Um, not quite human readable, but uh, you can also tell it, hey, can you display these results in JSON or XML or some other format? However, in this case, I have not specified. Uh, let's see. Well, let's actually ask it to do it. Um, perform the scan of localhost searching for open ports related to web services and keep the output human readable. All right, our results are in. In this case, it showed us the human readable format of Nmap scan and uh, only 8080 port is open, which is actually the port on which the Xena C2 server is listening on. And it also did some fingerprinting. Um, all right, let's uh, do something else. When you are doing engagement with a target, you also want to get more information about the domain. So in this case, we can ask it, um, perform subdomain enumeration of duckduckgo.com. All right, so the subdomain enumeration scan has been complete and as you can see, we got a lot of hosts. So basically, I will perform subdomain enumeration for duckduckgo.com using a subfinder tool to discover subdomains through passive online sources. And as you can see, it's quite uh, comprehensive. Um, I want to show you something else as well. You can also ask it to do things for you through the chat, but also you can go to task, which is similar to Jira, where you can create a task, for example, scanning of local host using a tool such as Nmap can localhost for RDB related ports. And as you can see, we have our tasks here. So the task is uh, gone from to do and is going into in progress because the scan is right now being executed. And let's wait for a bit and the task will be performed and then we can see the results. The scanning has been finished. Let's see. 
Okay, you can see here some details about the task and here Xena said, I will help you scan localhost for RDP related ports using Nmap. The default port for remote test the protocol, blah, 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 blah. And then we can see the command that has been executed. And in this case, we can see that the port is closed. Um, for this kind of things, you can um, bring the task back into to do to retry the task or in the future versions, I will add it so that you can comment and AI will perform some action based on your comment on feedback on the task. Um, the point here is in the next update, I will push um, targets tab where you can add domains, etc where AI will see a target that is approved by you and is going to create a bunch of tasks for reconnaissance, exploitation, information gathering, etc. And then it's going to perform all of those tasks for you. Uh, the point is in the future, the system will get more and more autonomous to the point where it can do a penetration test all by itself and not just the applications pen testing. Uh, I'm speaking about stuff like adversary simulation as well, because as you know, Xena is a framework equipped with HTTP proxy where you can route requests from the browser to Xena and see them here and modify them and going to um, HTTP editor at the moment it's empty because I don't have any requests that I can right click and say send to editor. It is kind of similar to burp uh, logger and repeater functionality and also remote control of computers through agents. So here I can send commands like uptime, hit send, and the agent will reply. Uh, and here also I can uh, use File Explorer to browse the files on the um, agent's machine and uh, basically download those files as well to the C2 server. And here I have some basic information about the agent. So this technology is the future of pen testing. Xena is free and open source as far as the community version is concerned. In that version, you have everything except the AI integration. As you can see, you can even get it running on the mobile and web, though officially only desktop is supported. To get the premium AI version, go to itch.io, link in the description. And here you can buy Xena for less than 50 bucks for long-term access. Imagine if this was renewed yearly, which is not, you will be paying less than 15 cents a day. And here you buy for 50 bucks and get it for life. And also you can download uh, the community version here as well, but also you can do that in the releases by downloading this zip file.